The reason why we give Aussies jobs is so that they have a sense of fulfillment and to exercise their body and their mind. Now, there are two ways of doing this. There's physical stimulation and then there's mental stimulation. Physical stimulation works out their body, whereas mental stimulation works out their mind. So the following three jobs that I'm gonna show you guys balances these two things out and just crushes Winston every single time. The first job is gonna be fetch. Now you need to be very careful with this job because if you do it every single day for a long period of time, you're essentially creating yourself an athlete. You're building up your dog's stamina, so it's gonna take even longer to tire him out. Now if you're the type of people that go on hikes every single weekend and take long walks or jogs, this is great, but for me, I like to balance things out with mental stimulation. We work on things like sit, down, leave it, some luring work, and some heel work as well. Now that's not to say that fetch is a bad job. It's great to have your dog running around, exercising, and getting that heart rate up. I just like to balance things out with mental stimulation. The next job is tug, which is another physical exercise that really focuses on strength. And what's great about this job is that you could do it indoors or outside. And at the same time, you can work on mental stimulation as well. The reason why I love tug so much is because you can really get in tune with your dog and you could tire them out really quickly, especially if you're throwing in some mental Down. stimulation like I am in this clip over okay. here. The best way to get the best bang for your buck is to use your tug toy as a reward system. So I'm making him do all these commands before he gets to play with me, which is the reward. And notice while we're playing tug, I'm not playing really lightly with him. Like we're really going at it and he's using all the muscles in his body to try and rip that toy out of my hand. Just to make sure he's actually listening to me and not just going through the motions, I'll throw in some tests here and there like in this clip. Bananas, cookies, chocolate, crackers, get it! Good. All right guys, you can see Winston is clearly huffing and puffing. He's tired, and this was only eight minutes of exercise. Now, this last job that I'm gonna give you guys is a perfect split between mental stimulation and physical stimulation. And the tool being used is severely underutilized, and every single person who owns a dog should be doing this every single day. The tool that is being used is their meals. I could already hear people saying my dog is not food motivated, but that's not true because all dogs are food motivated. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to achieve that because I have a feeling most of you are feeding your dog out of a bowl. But I wanna go over the jobs first. You can essentially give your dog any job that you want if you use their food as a motivator. You can work on obedience, like sit, down, or stay. You can work on recall, which is a great way to work on physical exercise and mental exercise. What I like to do is I okay. grab a single kibble and I throw it. And Winston. once Winston gets to the kibble and eats it, I recall him and then I give him a jackpot of food. You can work on scent work. And a great way to do this is that you just grab a handful of kibble, you throw it in the snow or in the grass and they have to sniff out for their food. You could even work on loose leash walking. Every time your dog is in that heel position, you keep feeding them there. And eventually they're gonna make the connection that, hey, whenever I'm in this position, something great happens. There is so much use in using your dog's food as a motivator. Now for those who are having trouble having their dog eat out of their hands, here are some tips for you. If you're feeding your dog in a bowl, stop that immediately. The next meal that you give them, try and give it by hand. If they don't eat out of your hand, that's totally fine. You gave them the option to eat. They're probably still thinking that, hey, I don't need to eat out of my owner's hand because I know food is gonna be coming in my bowl. The next time a meal comes up, you again, you're gonna try and feed them by hand. If they don't eat out of your hand, do not give them any food. You are giving them the option to eat and they're refusing. Eventually, they're gonna start eating out of your hand. Good boy. Also, make sure that it's fun and engaging. Get overly excited for your dog because they love to make you happy. If you do these three jobs, I guarantee you your dog is gonna be exhausted and your bond with them is gonna improve significantly.